Hello and welcome back to Tyranny. Hopefully today we won't be hearing any weird noises in the background. Aged planks, wood and withered rope are the only things keeping travelers down. keeping travelers alive while crossing the great chasms of the stone sea. I have no idea why. I, actually, I have an inkling why I keep pressing Alt to highlight the uh, items available instead of Tab because it's the way in the of Exile. And I played way too much of that. We must preserve Cairn's essence fade by there. Either aid us or leave us. Can I leave you? Which one was it? Hmm. Okay, send me to, this, to strike at the heart of the population and I will make the disfavored proud. Going to massacre the Holden slew? The lieutenant raps at the edge of his faceplate, head tipped with awe. I think you just stole my heart, madam. Give them my iron blade regards. Happy to lend my iron to the cause. The chorus dogs will grovel at our feet before long. Barrick pounds his fists together and grants in anticipation. It's as good as done. Oh, it's still half gate. So it doesn't really matter. Are you a shopkeeper, by any chance? I would like to trade. Watch your step, Fatebinder. The stone sea is a deep, steep drop from half case edge. Wouldn't want you to slip off now. What can a poor trader do for you? This place sure has been wrecked. And by a Fatebinder I could do you no less. No offense to you, of course. Your good justice. But if I ever get my sight of one who did this, I will give him a red piece of my mind. This city lost everything to the edict. Her homes, her people, even her name. You can't imagine what it was like to watch her quake and burn. Now that, that the city's death slide has settled, we only have to deal with the occasional rumbling, the tremors that come up, uh, come and go like sweeping summer storms. Most blame this favorite. The air shakers are no help at all. The sick scarlet chorus at least want us to solve the problem. I hear the folks of Halfgate feel that this favorite are causing problems. Have you come to help then? Those meddling earth shakers are protecting Cairn, but for the life of me I couldn't tell you why. Maybe they like the trembling he causes every time he rattles and moans. But how are we to rebuild so long as the Archon lives? Half case towns folk sympathize with the Scarlet Cores. Is that so? Well, we don't like them, but we don't hate them neither. They put a plan to stop the Earth's trembling, so they say. Kill Cairn, kill the quakes. Once the land's at rest, we can rebuild and farm again. Do you have anything noteworthy in stock? I afraid not. I'm plumb out of well, everything. A bit of gabbling. Uh, also, I've got to trade at the moment. If you're in the market. Whatever. Well, lo and peace in behold, look who's here, the great fate by the Tunan. Come and greet her highness. Will you have us bow and worship like dogs at your feet? She runs her finger over a ragged blade. 
or do we settle this with a bit of fun? I've only just arrived and already test my patience. Well, shit, I think I'm gonna upset the moving conquer with. No, don't hurt me, Fate Binder, I'm trembling. Can you believe this one? <laughs> Strutting about like this town isn't already ours. There's only one, there's only the question of what you do about you. A slice down your face, perhaps, or a dagger betwixt your shoulders as you walk away. I'm partial to either. You would attack the fate binder who reduced the Velm Citadel to ashes. How very brave. The soldier pales and grips for the hilt of her blade, but hesitates to draw it. A joke's a joke, eh? <laughs> we were just having a bit of throw. No need to be so eager to die. Uh, right? No need to get all worked up over it. After a moment of uncertainty, she breaks into a full retreat while shouting to the air. Quickly, misery! The fate binder is coming through! Tails between their legs. No, that is a refreshing sigh, isn't it? These dangling ropes served as the last desperate attempt to keep homes together following the collapse. The aftershocks proved to be too much for this makeshift su supports. Are you serious? Um, I believe Siren is the rule. No, I, ju I, I seriously just chose Siren because I thought I did. Okay, straight into the fight. I thought there would be something happening, but does not look like it. We'll go for him. I forgot to rest. I honestly don't believe that you have has to be so close to do that. Eh, never mind. Darken the sky on him. So you can also do something with your slowing the sands. Do you have anything? Did you use it? Maybe she did. Oh, Barry. Kills and Shadow will be fine. Because I threatened some of you. Ugh. A red spiral is, spiral is carved upon the wooden cover of this papyrus book, notebook. The handwriting within is haphazard and unscrutable, the work of an unpracticed, poorly trained wordcaster. A few entries contain recognizable sentences, and the book appears to be the journal of the Scarlet Corps commander detailing troop movements. Times and locations are noted alongside numbers and pictures of trees, stick figures and rocks. The author either didn't know the words for lumber or and people, or just felt more comfortable with pictures than words. 
While much of the journal is inscrutable, the corner of every page has the day's headcount for the Autos Brigade. While some days note dozens of losses, the Brigade appears to be recruiting far faster than its members are dying or deserting. A home lays flattened by the quake, the shattered half gate. The majority of the structures here stood no chance against the strength or the tre of the tremors. Is that a beastman? The beastman is shackled and cannot move. Can't we help them? And as soon as it's possible, we will free it. I will not allow them to treat this one the way they do. Let's see, I have something better though. Serene also has something of equal rarity. Sorry, I can't. Today we were supported by a few flimsy planks of wood. It's a surprise it's still upright, given all the tremors in the area. so hard a squirrel sits here glowing with mystical energy Surging of bounding bolts. This one? Yeah. Fate by Nerf Tunan. Mercy, please, mercy. Kill me and my torment. I'm begging you. He dry wretches, quivering and covered in blood. If I'm going to order your death, I'll need to hear what crimes have committed to warrant it. He starts to nod, but it turns to a halted cringe. How's this for you? I killed an entire village. Men, women and children. Crashed with a snap of my staff. Because I had to know if I could do it. I slaughtered them in a landslide and listened to their screams. He grimaces a, a smile at the memory despite his pain. You have no idea how exhilarating it felt. He eyes you discerningly. Or maybe you do. For the crime of willfully breaking Gross's peace, I hereby sentence you to be crushed by the weight of a rock until death. The punishment shall be carried out no later than a span from now. A fitting end, he grunts nearly breathless from the pain, so long as it comes quickly. I have no care as how to how it's done. Please hurry and send for my executioners. Do not make me wait and wonder, wishing every moment for it to come. There must be a better way to atone for this crime, Fatebinder. Death is almost too merciful. I'm stronger. Best hunter! Maybe, but he's already gone. Okay, let's see. You're, you're level up here. Uh, will and magic defense. I always like that, given how many magical enemies we are encountering. Mm. Okay. 
We're not really using Leaping Death. Okay, let's give her the bestial constitution so all of the effects are shorter. Can't do that. It's you again, really. Must be my lucky day. The crimson spear cocks her helm, hidden face to the side, studying you wearily. I get to bathe my Arabella in fate binder's blood. She stumps into a hip squirt crowd and bevels her long spear over her head. As her hand movement speed, the burnt spear begins to wump and snap in the air. She surveys the ruin you've wrought to on her town, the wake of bodies and blood you've turned at her feet, and her stance stiffens. Her grip tightens on her spear until her arms are wholly shaking. I haven't caught my fingers to the bone. I haven't slaughtered those who plague my dreams just to be washed away by a Kairos them fate binder. I'll make you regret it. You hear me? I'll make you regret ever coming here. She slaps her spear against the ground, loud as a whip crack, and her arms shudder from the force as the half ricochets back in the air. She laughs, clamorous and throaty and pleased, eager to test her prowess against you. <laughs> Any last words? Um, what's that over there? A curse dead on her lips, she glances with a truth toward the horizon. Motherless f <laughs> Go on and run, you chicken shit. I won't help you get away. Spear rise, she lunges for you, fast and hot on her heels. I'm going to enjoy skinning you, slowly, over the next few weeks. Best hope I don't take you alive, eh? She swipes for you, spear cracking thunderously through the air. I hope we could take our chance to hit them, not to run away. Oh. Okay, do this. Eric, you try your best to turn them all. No, yes, thank you. Oh, 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 wait, um... Spellcasting blocked, of course. As you slay the last of Scarlet Corps gangsters that terrorized Halfgate, the town's residents once more emerge from their homes. Vendor stalls are reopened for business, children play in the rubble filled rows, and a crowd gathers in the village square as daily life in the ruins of Azure resumes. Okay, so that was a good thing to do. And let's rest, yeah. This is despicable. Look at all the destruction wrought here on a whim. Kairos will pay for what the edict did to Cairn, and how it ruined Halfgate. Okay, now we have lots of people we can talk to, but okay. You're the fate banner that everyone has been talking about. Is there something I can do for you? What do you do in Halfgate? A little bit of everything, really. I'm decently handy with tools, and the buildings here are always in need of repairs. What can you tell me about those who defy Kairos in this realm? 
The beastmen are the ones who oppose the Kairos in these parts. We are studying the bones of Azure, but below that are the ruins of the beastmen ancestral territory. When the realm of Azure rose in power, they enslaved the hideous creatures and considered them to live to of her labor. Ever since Cairn fell and the ed edict devastated the land, the beastmen have started to reclaim the stone sea. If you find yourself in their presence, tread with caution. The beastmen are territorial and resort to violence with little provocation. Violence against humans is always justified. Because always humans are provoking beast women, are stabbing at beast women with sharpened sticks or cutting wards. She curls her elongated, wickedly curved claws as she rambles her warning. Do not blame beast woman for lacking patience. The humans not also swat at buzzing, biting swamp flies. Perhaps wisely, Hagrid says nothing in reply to the inc incensed beast, shrieking it on himself slightly and licking dry, chapped lips. However, he follows you a glance as if to see to say, "See." Before looking away. They're not that feral. Like we are doing just fine with Kills and Shadow. Can't do that. No mercy for murderers, death to the beast. Put him to the rope, hang him at his very throat, we'll have our justice. What happened? What's all this excitement about? A group of our boys with some help from the chorus caught the beast just outside of town. They found him just uh, they found him like that, four matted with blood and gore from hunting down humans. Just look at his snout, still stained with his wretched dinner. The woman shudders and touches a grubby handkerchief to her mouth. She blows with her upper lip, pale face and swearing to the archons. I wish you would Chalked on it. Never thought I would be happy to have had the curves around, but for once they did us right. Now all that's left is to see the brute killed. She sniffs and gives a curt nod. Course with the course gone, now we'll have to do it ourselves. And you're sure he's killed a human? Someone witnessed it or otherwise found proof? You soft on the beastman or something, Fatebinder? That's why you got one following your heels? You'd rather side with them than us humans, is it? That killer was found with blood over his face and paws, right out our, at our gaze. Who else do you think he ate if it weren't one of us? That monster killed and ate a human, and you call yourself a steward of justice? <laughs> well, go on then, deliver that beast of will deserve death. For justice to be properly served, he deserves either a fate by arbitration or a fair trial. That's so, fate binder. Why don't you go ask some of the others around then? See how many of us are in interested in your thoughts on justice. She glowers, hands bunching in the fabric of her dress as she adds. He don't deserve to walk free, and you know it. By my authority as a fate binder of Tunan, I will act as adjudicator in the situation, attempt to disrupt my duty to the court, and you will suffer the consequences. The woman pales and takes an unconscious step back. What, what, what will you do, Vaidwinder? Do you mean to find him innocent? With the lack of physical evidence, I will hear the people's testimony and judge the beastman in accordance with Kairos' customs. So... Okay... We cannot talk to you. Fatebinder, Sally of Carmen, Keeper of the Peace! He rushes towards you with his arm outstretched and grips you tightly around your waist before realizing his intrusion. He quickly backs away and pats away some of the dust he left behind. Uh, so many different faces come through this town, but how could I miss the one who single-handedly slayed those gangsters? Seems every other day we got new scavengers or artifact hunters 
or just completely out of focus coming through these parts, almost unsettling if you ask me. His eyes linger on kills in shadow for a moment and he sniffs, his face taking a sour look. And if it isn't one type, it's another. He looks back at you, he smiles again, although it doesn't quite reach his eyes. Oh, what is this other type? Stronger than pathetic human type? She scratches her scarred, hairy teeth and grins to show grace on her fangs. Well, aren't you just pleased with yourself, beast, making a joke at a human's expense? You should stay on your toes, Grayson. You're letting a beast get the better of you. Is there anything I can do to help you? Any information you, you need about the area? Sure. What do you know about the spires in the Stone Sea? Deep in the heart of the basement territory, there's one. Those are dangerous parts. You best be watching your back out there. He nods solemnly before continuing. The other is surrounded by those rock worshippers where that colossus of stone finally collapsed. A stone colossus? Yeah, that giant of an archon. He kept moaning and groaning as he made his way across the land, left destruction on his wake and riled up the beastmen something fierce. Believe he fell near the dawning spire? He gives his head a scratch, pondering the situation. Some of the vendors here in town could tell you more. I know they've had some dealings with these governors from those areas. Um, tell me more about Halfgate. Well, let's see. It used to be called Plainsgate until Cairn came tra tra traipsing through and made Benicalio cast the Edict of Stone on him, destroying thousands of lives in the process. He purses his lips. But you can't win a war without casualties. At least, that's what we're told. Even after we keep getting hit hard by the airquakes, We've lost a lot of people and possessions, but other areas were hit even harder during the edict. Guess you could say we were in the eye of the storm. No matter what happens, you have to keep a positive outlook because it could have been far worse. Things can always be worse, fate by there. Okay, and what do you know about Cairn? What is there to say other than that he has ruined our lives? We are beset with earthquakes and we've lost so many friends because of him. After the destruction here, he headed out into the stone sea and that's where he still lies. His body turned to stone and the story is he's trapped. That's what is causing the earthquakes, his ongoing death for to throws are tearing our land apart, but those them disfavored won't let him die, so we're the ones stuck suffering. Do you know how I can find Karen's body? I hear it's a place called Howling Rock, but I'm no adventurer. My entire life is here in town, so I wouldn't even know where to begin regarding how to get there. Best I can offer is to tell you to keep asking around town. Someone is bound to know more than I do. How has Cairns passing affected the settlers of this town? Townsfolk says have taken off to join Covenant crews and heading to the Stone Sea to search for artifacts and other treasures. Problem is, the Stone Sea is full of dangers, and those scavengers put their lives in danger each time they leave this settlement. Is there anything I can do to help them? There is indeed a way you can help Fatebinder. A scavenging mission went out a few days back and we haven't seen them since. The longer they're gone, the more I'm sure they won't be coming back. I will look for them. This is wonderful news. Thank you. He smiles and grabs your hand, shaking vigorously. They were on their way to Stone Down, but no one knows if they ever even arrived. No Stone Down. It's Stone Stalker's territory. It's dangerous for humans to venture into reclaimed tribe lands. What are the Scarlet Corps doing here? In Halfgate? Not much, now that you're slaying them. But for the rest of the Stone Sea, all I can tell you is that they came in promising to help us with the Beastmen and telling everyone that they care of the earthquakes. I don't know if they were telling the truth or not, but... I do know they've damn near swarmed this realm, claiming it for the Archon of Secrets. 
And if they can take those wild beasts out, I'm going to give them all the help they want. Uh, have you seen this favorite in the area? I've not seen any personally, but I've heard that they've set up a around Karen's body at Howling Rock. No one in town wants them around. Everyone here blames them for the ongoing earthquakes. What can you tell me about the captured beastman? Grayson grimaces, shaking his head. Uh, yes. The animal they caught outside the village. Can't wait for that unpleasantness to be dealt with. Covered in blood, lurking about, no doubt to hunt more settlers, mangled himself in a trap outside the gates. Don't know why the chorus brought him in. Just wipe the beast out or drive them away. That's what I say. Kills and Shadow snores and nauseous her fang. Yes, Glock would not kill humans unless humans warranted killing. What warrants killing humans? The beast woman pauses to think. She scratches her claws through the top of her thick, matted mane. If bad humans, if first attacked beastmen, if smell strange or smell good, if loud and annoying, if look meaty enough, lost or won't be missed. She grins, more tongue picking between her front teeth. Stone stalkers don't eat humans, but kills and shadow make some similar promises. You see, these murdering beasts enjoy hunting humans. There's nothing, nothing deeper to it. You didn't actually see him kill anyone. Why are you so quick to assume he's guilty? An animal does what an animal does. If there is something to kill, they will kill it. It's a simple matter of nature. I hear your rumors you're judging the matter. If you're of a mind to send the beast free, best do it far from here. If we see him outside the town, we won't hesitate to kill him. That is all I need for all for now. And this is where we are gonna end this part. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.